What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. The boat is outside and we've just spent a whole day grinding. So we'll jump back in the boat and uh, show you exactly what's been done and what today's episode is all about. <laughs> okay, so we've got another day out grinding. We finally got a break in the weather. It's literally been raining non-stop for the last two weeks. So now that we've got all these glassed in, we're just going to give the whole transom a sandback before we start bogging it, filling it and getting it flat. And we've also got a lot of work to do inside the hull from floor up. We're going to start grinding everything. Yeah, massive next two days of grinding. Let's get it done and uh, move on to the fun part. Mate, this stuff goes everywhere. So the boat is getting ground down with the flex bit, uh, the same discs that we use to do the hull, and they've been absolutely awesome. So the whole transom was sanded down so we can get that nice and smooth with the filler, and everywhere inside that needs to be glassed in. So the anchor well, the dash, the lockers, the side pockets, uh, the rest will be sanded down later in the build when it comes time for painting. Now, first thing on the to-do list is the anchor well. So basically like the rest of this build, we are gonna be using the template out of the cardboard to make sure we get the correct fitment, lay that onto the ply, cut it out, getting it ready for glass. Okay, so we just cut out our bulkhead. Uh, we just got a tiny bit of trimming to do, but it looks really nice on the top end and on the sides through here, we do need to push that back in. But what I do wanna do is mark where our center line is, which is through here. I wanna make sure that we get the center line on this bulkhead. So when we put our hatch in, it's nice and square. <sighs> Can't get a break of this weather. It's literally been like this in Perth for the last month. But anyway, we're working with it. So basically what we've been doing the last couple of days is working out uh, the measurements for this anchor well. So if we move this stuff here, we've made ourselves a template. Pretty basic template just out of cardboard and it worked quite well. So I've now overlaid that onto my 18 mil ply, which needs a little bit of trimming. And I just drew up a quick hatch that was on the uh, BCF website, but I thought that would be quite too small because I do need to get in from this hole or this hatch to get in and glass around. So what we've done is we bought the next size up, which is the six, uh, what do we got here? 600 by 350, which I think is gonna work magic. So that's gonna be sitting there. Plenty of room, and this is most likely where I'm gonna be storing all my life jackets and so on, so a lot bigger access. So let's cut that out and uh, get this thing all glassed in. Now we just needed to make sure that we had the indent or the recess on the right way. And that's where our new hatch is gonna go. Now I wanted the recess to be on the bottom, so when we open this up, it stays down. If it was the other way, I had to, it would be awkward just trying to hold that that door up while we're trying to get inside. So that's the way that the hatch is gonna be sitting and it actually looks quite nice and in proportion. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. Reason why I'm cutting this out now is basically we need to fiberglass this and it'll be a waste of glass if we, uh, we end up glassing all that. So that is our hatch cut out. So we'll cut this out, make sure it fits, uh, rough it all up. We'll trim what we need to trim, a couple layers of chop on each side, use the epoxy glue to, to put it in place, and then we can tab it in once it's all dried up. And that is gonna be really solid.
So while we're waiting for the ply to soak up all the resin, we had a lot of offcuts of the 1708, so I ended up just deciding on putting a, a layer of that first before finishing off with uh, the 450 chop. Once the first side was all dried, we uh, went in with the multi-tool and just cut off all the excess before flipping her over and doing the other side. So it's the next day and everything is now dried. So we're gonna take all the G clamps off this anchor well so we can start tabbing in the inner side and the outer. So let's mix up some resin and get this day started. With the epoxy glue now fully cured, we then made a mix with the vinyl ester resin and the Q-cell to make a nice little cove so we can start glassing and tabbing in the bulkhead. Now one thing I changed up was wetting the glass out on a bit of throwaway board before installing it where it needed to go and it saved time and got me into a bit of rhythm so definitely the way to go. Alrighty, the anchor well is now complete. It's all glassed in. Uh, we've done the inner and outer side, so it's taken me two days. I've done the inside first, not much uh, recording there, but we've done two layers of 450 chop all the way around, and I think it's come up a treat. So it's held in by the epoxy glue. Uh, it's completely waterproof now, so that is solid. I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, this video here was dedicated on doing this anchor well. And yeah, it's definitely come out exactly how I wanted it to. What's also good about this as well is that it, it strengthens um, the top deck as well. Uh, that's where the anchor is gonna be sitting. So I'm gonna be running a drum winch on, on top of the boat, on top of the, the, uh, the deck. So it strengthens all that up. Alrighty, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Next uh, couple of weeks, we're gonna be tackling the dash. So that's next week. Uh, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.